What's up guys? Are you wanting to buy best bicycles made in USA? Then you are on the right place. Our today's video is about top 5 best bicycles made in USA are available in the market. If you want to know price and more information about the products that mentioned in this video, you may check the link in the description box below. So now let's get started. Starting at number 1, Shinola. Shinola first started making watches and then expanded into other American-made or assembled categories, one of which being bicycles. Most know Shinola as being based in Detroit, but their bicycle department is actually based in Wisconsin. Shinola demands a high price for their high style and brand recognition. Shinola prides themselves on offering a low-maintenance bicycle that rarely needs to be adjusted, maintained or worried about, even in rain or snow. A lion's share of Shinola's bicycles are manufactured in the United States of America, even if it means sourcing product from all over the country. Shinola bicycles come with a limited warranty. At number 2. Detroit Bikes Detroit Bikes' philosophy is that to enjoy a city most, you must be on bike wheels. They produce using American-made crumbly steel, which is American-made and renowned for being lightweight, yet chalk absorbent, so you don't feel as many bumps in the road. Detroit bikes are made in a 50,000 square foot Detroit based factory, which was founded in 2011. Factory tours are available at Detroit Bikes, where the manufacturing facility bends, cuts, copes, welds, paints, assembles, and packages up to 150 bicycles each day. Tours last about one hour and are generally the first Friday of the month, but could possibly be scheduled at other times. All Detroit bikes purchased have a lifetime warranty. At number three, Metro Feeds. Metro Feeds was founded in 2007, originally as a test in alternative bicycles, and has become one of the easiest riding cargo bikes available. Metro Feeds is your pick if you are looking for a city bike to haul your deliveries, children, purchases, pets, supplies, and more. Metro Feeds has designed a bicycle that can accommodate up to 400 pounds of passengers and cargo without sacrificing smoothness using a large front wheel no jitter steering, and durable materials. Metro Feats is known for easily maneuvering, even with a full load. Stiffer, lighter, and wicked fast, TIG welded fork and tube sets are a mix of union-made 4,130 steel produced in the USA as well as imported parts. At number 4. Littleford Bicycles Littleford Bicycles is a custom-made bicycle shop in the city that is proud to have the highest percent of commuters who bicycle to work. The journey for the builder at Little Ferts began with his own cross-country road trip from Oregon to Pennsylvania and dreaming of what would make a more comfortable ride. Little Ferd Bicycles has become experts on ensuring your bicycle ride is the most comfortable possible, thereby ensuring the longest-lasting enjoyment. Using a bike day after day means you are in the same position time and time again. It is critical for this position to be the most ergonomically correct as possible. What is comfortable to you may not be comfortable for me. Avoid physical pain or annoyance by creating a custom bike that is as comfortable as possible for you. When purchasing a bike, Littleford Bicycles conducts an interview which considers your posture, riding style, fit, body measurements, bike geometry, personal experience, and preferences in order to create the perfect bike fit and look for you. At number 5. SciSip SciSip has been building custom bicycles since 1992 and was founded by two brothers, one of whom still runs the shop. At SciSip you can have a mountain, road, cyclocross, city touring, or any type of specialty bike created. SciSip's city touring bikes are known as their Java Town Collection. These bikes combine the speed of a road bike with the style of a cruiser. SciSip was a winner in the North American Handmade Bicycle Show in both 2014 and 2015. SciSip has an opportunity to specify the origin of each individual part, or at least which pots are imported. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Until next time, I'll see you later.